morning, good afternoon, good evening, my fellow YouTubers, Facebook and welcome to another edition of Living Simply and Fun. I'm your host, Aries, and there's Aaron and Moppy got in the way, but this is our mascot, Moppy Dog, the service dog who travels everywhere. What do you got to say, Moppy? Cookies? Yes, and I have been lazy lately. Cookies? Uh, in fact, I meant to shave this yesterday, but... Yeah, it's all right for now. So, Moppy, what is today's topic? Do you know? Uh, today's topic is a hodgepodge. A hodgepodge, okay. Yes. First, we're going to start off with something that Rita's discovered recently. Yes, actually, I was going to bring that up. This is her library card. And uh, she wanted to get into reading some fly fishing books to learn more about fly fishing. And she was kind of pestering me for quite a while to help her do reviews on fly fishing books so that she knew what to buy well I was having a difficult time and I kept telling her well try this one try that one but she kept changing things and then well I had to be started all over again well she learned with the library that she can order books from other libraries and she can get the books that she wanted to read and try them out without buying them and then if she likes them then she can buy them so she's ordered a bunch on 19 books yes and so she's going to learn quite a bit about fly fishing. So of course, she wants me to read the books, to review them to the world about the fly fishing books. And I don't know if I'll read all of them. I might read some of the more interesting ones or skim through them. I can't tell you yet. Uh, Depends on what they say, too. I'll give Aaron the briefing from my point of view so we know what's going on. So, Moppy? So that's something you can be looking forward to in the future. And I ordered three books, but that's besides the And she mind. ordered three fly fishing books online. Um, we and got more coming, but we... The don't... end of the month is coming up, and that means payday is coming up. And when payday comes up, that'll probably mean two or three more books on top of that. So uh, that's not a bad thing, I don't think. Um, I want a book about how to raise moppy dogs. You don't need a book about it. You already live it. <laughs> so, uh, in the next uh, section here, um, I have an old friend from about 10 years ago that I haven't seen. Uh, I've known him since 1989, uh, before many people that might be watching this were even born. Uh, we were childhood friends, and uh, he recontacted with me and wants to come out for a visit. So I'm looking forward to that. Uh, it was we were talking originally about maybe February, but looks like it might end up being March. Um, he's got some difficulties and stuff, but uh, I'm willing to help him through that. And so I'm so really excited to see him too. Aaron asked me to help him out too as a minister, so I can't turn anyone down. I know he, I know he watches our channel, so if you're watching, hi, Josh. Uh, uh, and just to let you know that uh, uh, I can't turn anyone down helping-wise. I always help him. Cookies. Yeah, see, he's just talking to good dad. Yes, of course. Uh, he's always asking for cookies and always getting help on them. So, yeah, this little guy loves his cookies. Huh, so, uh, that that's pretty much the second part. Uh, I think this is going to end up being a short video for you all. I got, uh, maybe Pro it's a blessing tomorrow. to some of you. Tomorrow's the Pro Bowl. Uh, team Saunders or Team Rice? I am team going Saunders. to. I am going to try to stomach my way through watching it, but I'm afraid they've changed the rules for the Pro Bowl so much that it's no longer football. Uh, it's so. called the. Uh, it hold on. I have to say this right it's for me. It's called the uh, the Michelob Amber Bach Bowl. <laughs> Yeah, only because you'll be drinking Michelob Amber Bock during the game. It's an excuse for you. <laughs> so, we got pizza for tomorrow, so we're looking forward to having the pizza, and too. And one week from tomorrow is the Super Bowl. Again, it's going to be renamed the Pot Bowl, the Weed Bowl, the Actually, I was, Bowl. Actually, I was thinking back to when Budweiser had the Bud Bowls uh, and stuff, and I don't know if they mm -hmm. still do the Bud Bowls or not. I haven't paid attention in years. But I remember that, so maybe this is the real Bud Bowl, and those were just artificial mm -hmm. ones. <laughs> so I know every. I remember talking to Aaron the other day, talking about football, and I said there was like thirty others. There was like the Tostitos Bowl and the Salsa Bowl and this bowl, and I was like, "What the hell?" And he's like, eh, "It's college football." Yeah, but it's not on TV, so it doesn't count. It's yes. like the Rose Bowl. And, and the whole time I'm sitting there saying, "Pass the chip bowl, the popcorn bowl, the pretzel bowl." <laughs> I even said well, as a joke to Aaron, and he thought I was actually telling the truth about. The joke about the Obama Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
I, I was seriously hoping that one was fake, but I wouldn't put it past him to name it. After all, I, I kind of came up with a joke after the Denver ended up uh, beating New England. I said, uh, uh, Obama's now got breaking news uh, that uh, the New England uh, Patriots have won the game regardless of what the outcome was. <laughs> you know, executive order to say that they advance. Yeah, exactly. And same goes with the other game with Denver beating uh, the Seattle beating Seattle beating uh, the 49ers. 49ers. So it'd be 49ers Patriots instead. It, you know. Yeah, and he probably also write an executive order to move the 49ers to Hawaii, so it'd end up being Hawaii against New England, <clears throat> which then he'd end up moving New England to Chicago, so it'd be. Uh, Hawaii versus Chicago. Then his got team's the Bears. going to win. Then he's got the Bears. Well, then he just ended up scratching it and saying the Chicago Bears <laughs> go to the Super Bowl. <laughs> How screwed up with or that? Or the be? Washington Redskins going to the Super Bowl. Now, speaking of the Redskins, I understand that they might end up losing their name. Uh, apparently, there's a lawsuit saying that it's uh, illegal for them to have that name of some sort. Uh, someone said something about that, and Obama went on TV apparently and said the yeah, name's not going to be changed. When you put him down, he wants to move. So, uh, the you talk for a second. The next bit of th uh, this I'd like to get to is, uh, for Christmas, Rita got me a 2DS. And I'm absolutely loving it right now. I got Rune Factory for it, the first Rune Factory on DS. And it's very much like the other Harvest Moon games. Uh, you do only have a choice of a male character. But you can move over all your crops without that center one not being able to get to to water it and having them all come up at different times and stuff. You have caves that you can grow your crops in that are climate, uh, constant climate. So you, uh, one of the caves is always summer, one of the caves is always winter, one of the caves is always fall, one of the caves is always spring. And so whatever you can grow during those times, you can grow all year round in those caves. Uh, it, it is got RPG elements. You can use swords and axes and stuff, and you got monsters to beat up, and you can capture monsters. There's various different monsters you can catch that produce wool and eggs and milk and stuff. Uh, it, it, it's actually a really fun game. The only drawback I could see for some people is you have to be a male character, at least, in it. So, well, he gave me an idea, but I'm going to bring that for, to uh, him. For one of my friends who enjoys uh, Harvest, Harvest Moon. Moon games, uh, you. she likes the fact that you can play as a female and get married and have children. You can have children in this, too. Um, but, yeah, you'd have to play as a boy. I guess you could give the boy a girl's name, and it could be a boy, uh, uh, a tomboy. Uh, and, well, that kind of be weird. It, it end up being a lesbian relationship, whether you want it to be or not. Uh, but besides that, um, it, it's actually a really fun game. It's, in my opinion, the best Harvest Moon I've played. And I know Rita's jealous of me because she wants to play it and she doesn't have a 2DS right now. Uh, I can't. I know how to get one. But it's I recommended that she get uh, Rune Factory for PS3. Uh, the second Rune Factory came out on there, and she does have a Wii. And the first Rune Factory Frontiers came out on Wii, both of them. So. She could play them both on Wii, or she could get the one for PS3. I'm going to be thinking on that, but he told me I'd get new peepers first. Uh, definitely. Her lens keeps popping out, and if you see, it's held together with shoestring. And super and glue and super tape. Super glue and tape, and it's not holding very well, and it's just a matter of time before it pops out and it's unreplaceable. Then she's going to be walking around blind and hating everything. So... <laughs> We don't need that. I'm already hating certain things. I know. <laughs> Especially the fact that I'm enjoying myself with the 2DS. Oh, well, there's a way that I can get one, too. I'll bring it up to you as soon as we're done with this. But oh. anyways, um, let's see. Is there anything else? Oh, he's still having trouble with Amazon. Yes, uh, my movie still is sitting there on hold without an estimated date. It says that they cannot give an estimate at this time. And... It's sitting in limbo, and as soon as they get it in, they're going to charge my card. So I just got to sit there with money in my account, unless I want to cancel it. Um, and yet Amazon still says that it is in stock. How can they say it's in stock if it's not in stock? Confuses me. Um, even called them and acted like somebody else and asked them if it was in stock, and they said yes, there's I a did copy too. of stock. And Rita did too. So. 
Um, yeah, it's kind of confusing with Amazon. Um, I don't know. Is there any other news that we've had recently? Um, well, let's see. Besides the football games, your glasses, Josh, uh, uh, Rune Factory, and your fly fishing books. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to rebuild uh, a friendship with someone. Ah, yes. Even though it wasn't, uh, I, 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 as I'm going to say in this video in front of him, what I was trying to do, and to the public audience, to people watching this, is what I was trying to do, and Aaron, I think, was doing the same, was reverse psychology. What we were trying to do, and to a point, was to say, hey, you're not going to do, you're going to be, you know, hold up, and uh, you're going to be stuck with no experiences or life experiences, and you're going to be somewhere where you won't, you will be, you know, growing old, etc., and, well, it blew up in our face. Uh, you have anything to say on it? Because you're making faces. No, I'm listening. So... <laughs> you say I'm making faces. Well, you know the thing is, is it's kind of reverse psychology. We were trying to somewhat, you know, we were, but we weren't. We were trying to tell the truth, but at the same time, uh, we were trying to say it in a way that didn't sound mean. And, well, it came out mean, and, well... I, I hope that I never come out sounding mean. I, I mean, I try not to yell or complain or much... I'm just kind of a quiet, easygoing person, so when I say things, I try to say it in a quiet, easygoing, cons or, uh, the, um, communicative way, I suppose you could say. So, anyways, I, I really don't think there's... Oh, oh, we're still watching movies. Um, in fact, last night we watched Tom and Viv and found out that there's a unique story behind that and which story is really true. One side says that T.S. Eliot and his family tried to cover up the entire situation where the brother of Vivian Eliot uh, tried to say, no, this is the way it happened. And so there's two different accounts. One saying that she kind of stalked him and harassed him and he'd hid from her for years. And another one saying she was in a mental hospital. So uh, which one's the truth? Well, I don't know for certain, uh, but it is an interesting conundrum. Tonight we're going to watch the movie Sylvia about Sylvia Plath, so uh, about two, poet, uh, two poets and two days in a row. Uh, we tried to watch one of the Marx Brothers movies the other night, but Rita was so tired she fell asleep during it. Uh, we were going to watch Animal Crackers. And uh, we watched Pat Beyond, which wasn't really her cup of tea because it was just too slow moving for her taste. Yeah, very slow. In fact, I mean, that's probably why she fell asleep during the Marx Brothers because Pat Beyond just wore her out. Well, yeah, I mean, you're trying to understand it all, and everyone's like, oh, yeah, it's a great movie. Yeah, it's a great movie. And you're sitting there like, how can I keep it away? This is boring. And yet I had to watch it in high school, and I loved it in high school. It became one of my favorite stories for a while. I probably would I've fall read asleep the book. It was in a, school. It, it was an entertaining book, and I really loved the movie. Teacher so made I us to watch it. White Fang and uh, that other one, too. The White Fang, White Fang, too, and that other one. But that's different than The Outsiders and Papillon. I don't know. This is what we watch in, ma I, in I math mean, school. Not entirely different, because uh, our school, we had to watch The Bird. Um, yeah, well, there was White Fang, White Fang 2, and that other dog movie that was with a wolf. Call of the Wild, probably. Not Call of the Wild. It had to do with a wolf. Oh. Just like White Fang, it was close enough to it. It's like mm. something, Snowy River. Oh, okay. Don't know that one. Yeah, something, White Snowy River or some stupid thing. Those are the ones we had to watch. And they were on laser discs. Funny how our school at the time oh, had laser discs. Speaking of movies that she likes, though, uh, she got the book version from the library of A River Runs Through It. So uh, she'll probably be reading that soon. However, if any and of you I want to know... And I gave you a copy of Where the Red Fern Grows, which you wanted to read. Yes, I was going to say something about it to you all, including uh, my friend who uh, likes that movie, A River Runs Through It. Wink, wink. Say no more. A uh, River Runs Through It by... Uh, uh, McLean, um, not Polly McLean. Paul McLean died in an alley in Chicago, but Norman McLean. Uh, not John McLean from Die Hard. No, Norman <laughs> McLean. He'd be fly fishing with grenades. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Norman McLean 
wrote a river runs through it, but it river runs through it is just one of many short stories in the book. It's like Sherlock Holmes. It's like for uh, it's the one where it's in God we trust for all others pay cash. The Christmas stories in it, but there's other smaller stories written by the same guy who writ, wrote the Christmas story. It's just Christmas story was in the book as called the Christmas story. And they took that section of the book and made it into a movie. Mm -hmm. Whereas everything else they couldn't because, well, it had to do with Ralphie. So, am I missing anything else? Uh, uh, no, not really. I don't think so. So, before I go, I do have something to say, a story. When I was searching for books at the library for fly fishing, uh, In God We Trust for All Others uh, Pay Cash, that came up under fly fishing. So I was wondering what was going on yeah. with that one. And I don't know, the title makes me think so long and thanks for all the fish. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, well... <laughs> So, anyways, uh, I suppose this concludes our video. It ended up longer than I thought it was going to be. Uh, five minutes, I said. I think this is going to be really short. Please add subscribe. So, please post comments in the box. Please add me as a friend, and uh, please subscribe. Uh, and please add suggestions. Thank you. May God bless the world.